Hello everyone. In this session, we will see Python coding for decision tree algorithm for diabetes Pima Indian data and diabetes data set. And we will do it in Colab. We will implement in Colab for the Pima Indian diabetes applying decision tree, decision tree algorithm. I have opened a new file, new notebook in Colab. I will import, click on this file symbol, browse option will come, then you have to import the file. So this is the browse symbol, import the Pima Indian Diabetes CSV file. It will come on the left side. Once you close this file, this data set also will go out of the Colab. Now data set is available inside the Colab. I am importing the libraries required we know numpy is for arrays matrices pandas is for data structures and operations on numerical values seaborn matplot both are for plotting these are the four libraries i am importing you click on code next line will come for typing now if you see the file if i open the pima indians pima indians diabetes there is no heading there is no heading for each column only values are there so for that i know i have um, downloaded this X, uh, csv file from some link where the description what every column represents it is given so now i am assigning column names by this i am assigning column names for the file i am assigning column names i am importing I am importing the file also. You can right click on this copy path and you have to paste it here. The same already I have done. So this is the path file will be imported into Python and the column names are given for uh, the data set. Column names are given. Now I will display the first five columns. Already in the previous line, Pima is the variable taken after reading the diabetes file i am assigning it to pima variable now i am displaying first to five rows in that you can see column names also will come because i mentioned column names column names also will come and data will also be displayed next i am going with splitting the data x array by array whatever columns are there feature columns and features are x variables x array and target variable output is y target variable output is y these are the feature columns these are the feature columns last column label last column label that is not taken here so that will be the target variable you execute this x array y array is formed next we have to do the splitting so here 70% 30% I am taking training is with 70% data, testing with 30% data. So I am mentioning 0.3, 30% data. This is the function train underscore test underscore split function um, for uh, dividing the data set into 70%, 30%. It is available in a scale on library. I am importing that function and then dividing 70 and 30 from the available data set. And now I am loading the decision tree, decision tree algorithm which is also available in sklearn library sklearn is having the decision tree classifier now i am assigning the classifier to clf variable and then i am preparing the model decision tree model fit means model then prediction we are doing using x test for the model preparation we have to give x train y train Fit means model preparation, training the model. Fit means training the model. For that, we have to give X train, Y train. And the predict means we are applying, evaluating the model. And there we have to give X underscore test. After that, output is available in Y underscore predict. Now using that Y underscore predict and Y underscore test, we will prepare the confusion matrix. We are importing the confusion matrix from sklearn library you can see sklearn library is having the metrics confusion matrix is a matrix accuracy score precision recall f1 score these are also metrics available in the sklearn library 
we are preparing confusion matrix using y test and y predict y predict is here already evaluated of the model output is in y predict y test is there and we are assigning the confusion matrix into variable cm now using cm we already know we will display the confusion matrix first we will display the confusion matrix cm is the variable you can see here cm is the variable if heat map is the function used for displaying con confusion matrix 2 by 2 matrix you can see this is true negative true positive false negative false positive values confusion matrix is available next we are calculating the true positive true negative cm of 0 0 first element is true negative then 1 0 1 0 is false negative 1 1 is true positive this is true positive and above this we have false positive you can see here third one is 44 that is true positive 44 next using the formulas we are calculating accuracy precision f1 score recall using the four values we have formulas we are calculating and we are trying to display using the decision tree model accuracy precision recall f1 score lastly we are going with true positive rate true negative rate false positive rate false negative rate sensitivity specificity calculation again using the formulas for the decision tree model so we are having the values this is about decision tree for pima indian diabetes data set we have done it in colar using python code we have imported this we have imported this into python coding into colar then we are using it and doing the analysis we can do uh, we can drop the elements we can make a count plot uh, we can do distribution plots we can also uh, check any missing values are there any null values are there we can drop it dummy variables are there all these are pre-processing methods any number of steps we can use in it thank you